our administration supported 31,298 farmers with agricultural input and services against the target of program, which is 14,205 farmers. It is therefore evident that the progress recorded has exceeded the target of the program by about 120%. Infrastructure. Infrastructure, especially roads, schools, hospitals, and office accommodations in the state capital and other local government headquarters were in a state of disrepair due to neglect by the previous administration. I don't know how many of you watched when we went around the JB Secretariat that consists of three blocks, and so far, one block has been fully renovated where our civil servants will be very, very comfortable in their offices in order to allow them to think for the benefit of people of Zambora State so that the right policies will be in place for easy governance as well as other processes. In our drive to fulfill our campaign promises, the administration has implemented a number of policy measures aimed at restoring the lost image of the state. Prominent among the policies implemented are the urban renewal, the approval and out of contract for the construction of International Airport Brussel within a couple of weeks. The dream of having an airport in Zamfara will come to reality, inshallah. If you look at the entire country, the 36 states of Nigeria is only Zamfara that does not have an airport. Promises were made by the previous administration. In fact, we were promised that as of then, three years ago, our pilgrims will start flying from Busan Airport. From January to March 2024, revenue generation has increased by over 100% within the quarter, reaching 2.16 billion compared to what was obtained in the past. And I'm happy the chairperson, the chairperson of revenue generation, she's here, Haji Arakia. And I'm sure she will not forget the session we had with her, was it last week? She was at the council meeting until about 3 a.m. We had to grill her and her director that I can see some of them seated on the fifth row, that I've given them end of June. And that is what I'm going to major with them. And if they don't perform, they know. So we're on it. It's unfortunate, when we took over, in fact, I feel ashamed when I'm in the mix of my colleagues' governors. When everybody is calling, oh, my idea is 
35 billion, I want to jack it up to 100 billion. This one will say, oh, I'm making 200 billion, I want to jack it up to 300 billion. I was just looking at them, I said, lucky them. In Zamfar State, when we took over, our IGR was less than 100 million. And guess what? The component of that nine, uh, 100 million, 90% was pay. That is pay as you earn, which is very easy, the lazy man way of doing things. You don't need to make any efforts, you will get it done. Hold us accountable. Every cobble you pay, you will see it on the ground. We are not interested in cobble of your money. We are not. But you will see it. And call us anytime, challenge us anytime. Mr. Governor, what have you done with our money? Whether FAC allocation, whether internal generated revenue, we will account for every cobble that we spend and for every cobble that we earn. That is the way forward, inshallah. Be proud of who you are. Go out there, compete effectively, represent Zamfara. Let's change all the negative coronations. Whenever they see Anzamfara, they see him as Takwalibe Sankomiwa. Where we work in the past, whenever I mention I'm from Zamfara, they say, no, 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 he cannot be. They are doing that to make me feel high, not knowing they are depressing me. And that is the true position, and that is reality. So please, Zamfarawa, wake up. Wake up, wake up. You can compete with anybody, anywhere. And that is why we are bringing these reforms. Thank you. Our investment in the economic sector will inshallah gradually continue to attract investors, donor agencies, as well as grants, thereby promoting sustainable economic growth and development. Gentlemen, some people will be saying, oh, the governor travel. The governor is nowhere. No matter how hard we try to bring investors, with the negative information you're passing out there, because you're not helping yourself. Think twice. It's not everything that is politics. Let's come back to reality. Let's be real. Think of the negative consequences of certain information you're passing out there. While we are making conscious efforts to tackle insecurity, our own people are busy sabotaging the effort. You are not doing that to your, I mean, to anybody but to yourself. Because no matter where you go, you'll still come back. And wherever you go, you'll still be tagged as Danzamfara. So all these investors that we are trying to, when we don't behave, when we don't be our ambassadors, when we don't send the right messages, nobody will come to you. You cannot imagine an investor that will travel from Lagos or Abuja to spend six hours on the road with all the negative coronation and insecurity to come and put his money in Zamfara. It's not possible. That is why we have to go out. We have to go out 
and look for ways to build a better Zamfara. There's nothing comfortable in traveling. I'd rather stay in my house in Abuja comfortably, not bothered by anything. But if I do that, Allah will ask me as a leader. On the part of public service, our restructuring exercise aimed at reducing waste as well as improving efficiency has yielded significant results. We have reduced the number of ministries from 27 to 16. Number of boards from 17 to 13 and commissioners from about 48 to 16. When I assumed office, we inherited a backlog of pension and gratuity arrears for both the state and local government council amounting to over 13.6 billion. Since 2012, nobody was paid pension or gratuity. And meanwhile, this money was taken away by someone. So, and that person can now sleep comfortably in his house, forgetting 2012, somebody's halal. You've taken the money, you squander the money, and you think your wives, Allah will judge them. Wallah, you must Allah is To date, we have settled over five billion of this liability and will continue to offset the backlog until when everybody is paid. Inshallah. <laughs> Additionally, we are committed to paying uh, pension and gratuities for retirees as at when due. When we approve the gratuity and pension for this month of May, I saw somebody's name, at least he's going to get somewhere around 15 million, which he never imagined. So you can imagine there are multiple of those people and inshallah we will settle all the liabilities. As we conclude this momentous occasion of our one year anniversary, I would like to express my gratitude to Almighty Allah for guiding us through this journey if we ponder and reflect on the state of Zamfara over the past 28 years, it is evident that we have faced numerous challenges that have hindered our progress. However, in the past 12 months, we have taken decisive steps to address these issues and set the state on a new path of development and prosperity. From overhauling critical sectors such as security, education, healthcare, and agriculture, to implementing over renewal projects and significantly improving our internally generated revenue, our administration has demonstrated an unwavering commitment to transforming Zamfara State that can compete with any other state in Nigeria, inshallah. I'm proud of the modest achievement we have recorded within this short period. Our efforts in enhancing security, revitalizing education, improving healthcare services, 
boosting agricultural production, and driving economic growth have begun to yield positive results. We have laid a solid foundation for sustainable development and will continue to build on this achievement to realize the dream of our founding fathers. I wish to use this opportunity to solicit prayers as well as understanding from the good people of Zamfara State, as always, for peace, progress, and Allah's guidance as we continue with the orders task of building a new Zamfara State and restoring harmonious coexistence among our people. I urge all stakeholders to lend their support in the struggle to emancipate our dear states. Jamaa Assalamu Alaikum.
yoko saratini ila ali ubudu wey ila ali ubudu hey na wa amdul anka na wa amdul anka wasu sinkira ruwa Sing. 